Hey, Radians here. In today's video, I'll be sharing an invaluable hook for maintaining React state in your URL query stream. This trick can be especially useful when you wish to make your application state shareable via a URL. I'll be using the pagination parameter in the Next.js app I'm developing as an example. My app includes a list of exam tickets. I want to offer a way for people to share specific exam tickets via a direct link. I'll go through some reusable components and hooks in this video, and they can all be found on ReactKit repository on my GitHub. Check the link in the description below. So here's how to use this hook in an app. You provide the name of the query parameter and the initial value to the hook. In return, you receive identical value and set value pairs that you would get with a useState hook. However, the difference is that the value gets stored in the URL query stream. Remember, our hook functions generically. It's designed to support a variety of value types, so more often they'll be string or numeric value. Within the use query param state hook, we still use the use state hook to keep the value in the component state. This is to force a re render when the value changes. We also utilize use router hook from Next.js to tap into the current URL query string and the push function, which we'll use to update the URL query string. You could also use the replace function here if you'd rather not add a new entry to the browser history each time the value changes. Take note, in this hook, we avoid updating the query param with the default value unless the user changes that value. Depending on your application, you might prefer to set the default value in the URL query string upon the very first render assuming it isn't already there. Instead of set value, the hook's consumer gets an on change function. This ensures the URL query string consistently reflects the updated value. We skip the set value function inside on change since we are already looking out for query param changes within the use handle query params hook. Here we are checking if the designated key exists in the URL query string. If it does, we parse the value and update the component state accordingly. Beware the use router hooks query object appears to be parsed, but what I've noticed, it returns numbers a string. So it's better to add an extra parsing step to ensure the correct value type. The use handle query params hook is effectively a simple wrapper around the use effect hook. It triggers the handler function when the router is ready and query parameters are available. We have to perform a type assertion here because the query type considers every field optional. However, in practice, this hook is used where we are sure that the query parameter exists, like on an authentication page where you typically expect to receive a code from the OAuth provider. Without this query parameter, the process would fail. And that wraps up today's tutorial on maintaining the React state in a URL query string. I hope you found it useful. As always, please subscribe for more videos on coding, React, and Next.js. Thanks for watching. Become an effective 10x programmer with my productivity app at increaser.org.